Hello there, my honey bunnies. Susan McGarry here, Susan McGarry Glass. And after our last video of etching, I had an idea I wanted to play with etching a little more. So I thought I would film it so you guys could follow along. I'm going to use the usual items, my Dremel, some Dicro glass, on clear, some black glass. This time I'm going to use like a little pattern. Got my Sharpie markers, something sharp to tell which side of the glass has the dichro on it, a little bit of paper towel, and my little water tray. That's why I need the paper towel. All right, let's get started. Um, first thing I have to do is figure out which side has the dichro. Uh, you can watch previous videos to see more of this, but I'm looking for a reflection, and it is that side for sure. And on this one, it is this side for sure. I am using transparent uh, dichro, so I can put it on black glass and have the dichro facing up or down. For this one, I think I'm going to do them both up. I'm going to set the black aside for now. Now I've got my little pattern, and there's one advantage to using the dichro on clear is I get to um, draw through, you know, see my pattern. And you guys are going to see it a little better than I am because of my angle, but you will get the idea. I'm doing on this one a sort of peacock feather. darn close. Let me show you what I came up with. Something like that. Set your pattern aside. This one I'm going to do like a little butterfly. I'm going to use the fat marker. And then I'll use the thin marker for a little detail. Alright, I think I like that. Okay, the next thing I need to do is put it in the water and etch away the dichro. I didn't follow the pattern exactly, but used it as a guide. There we go, now you can see it. I think I want to clean up that line a little bit and a little more on that circle. See what we've got. Pretty darn close. I think I like that. Set that aside. Let's do the butterfly. All right, let's check it out. I think I'll add a little more to the body here and maybe bring this wing in at a little more detail. So I'm just going to refine it a little bit. I 
like that. I think we've got a good pattern now. I think I'll do a little border around the edge. I've got a little chip in my die curl right there. So I can fix that by doing a little border. All right, I think they're both done. I am going to clean them off. Get most of that marker off. All right, I've got them all dry and cleaned up. And I'm going to fuse this face up. Dicro up. On this one, I'm going to do dicro up and I'm going to fire them at a full fuse of 500 degrees per hour to 1450. Hold for 10 minutes, turn the kiln off, and then we'll see what it looks like. Okay, it's been about eight hours and the pieces are out of the kiln. They've been full fused and they turned out pretty darn good. I'm liking them. So um, now all I need to do is add a bale to the back. And the way I do that, flip them over, take my Dremel bit again, and rough up where the bale will be, will be uh, glued. All right. I use E6000. Put a little dollop on there. I like these tubes that have the pointy tip. Saves me a lot of trouble. Oops. Straighten it up. I let those cure for 24 hours and then to completely set them I put them in an oven you can put them in your kiln uh, for me I put them in the oven at 275 degrees for 20 minutes and it makes those bales glued on pretty darn permanent so they will look something like that. I am pretty happy with them. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you make some of your own. I'd love to see what you make. So thanks for watching and be cool, honey bunnies.